everybody, Shane Severson here, Legacy Realty, and we are ready that time of month. We're gonna do our market update. Our numbers for March are in, and so let's, uh, let's jump right in. Let's talk about what's going on in the Denver market in real estate. Uh, let's start with our average price, like I always do. Our average price in March of 2021 is $615,000. 672, that's 615, 672. Now here's the deal, last year in March, uh, 2020, our number was 518, 790. Now you heard that right, that's almost a $100,000 jump in one year for an average home. That's an 18.7% increase, and actually, believe it or not, we are at a 4.5% increase over the last month month. Now, here's the thing. I talk about this a lot. These numbers are inflated a little bit. Uh, we did not jump $100,000. Um, part of that is the overbids that we're seeing. Part of that is the average price. Uh, we had a lot more of the higher end solds. So we've talked about that over the last couple weeks and, and so forth, months, weeks. That's what we've been talking about a lot. So those are a little over inflated numbers, but you can see our number are just skyrocketing always dictated by our month's inventory. So we're pretty much where we've been for quite a while. We're at 0.5 months supply this month. Now, last year in March, we were at 1.8. So that is a 72% uh, percent drop in inventory in one year. So COVID and a lot of the things that are going on right now have affected a lot of that, driving the inventory down, driving prices prices up. So we're seeing a lot of that go on right now. Um, our active listings, we just crossed over 3,000 active listings the day I pulled it. So we were at 3,046 active homes in the Metro Denver area last year. Just to give perspective, we were at 9,400. So that's a 67 and a half percent drop uh, in active listings. So um, that's kind of where we're at currently. And the last thing I want to talk about is this percentage of closed versus percentage of lists. So what that looks like is what uh, percentage of um, offers and closed price are we getting? Are we getting 100% of where houses are listing? Are we getting over that? And you would think right now with all the chaos and all the uh, crazy overbids, which I'll explain in a second, uh, you would think that we'd be much, much higher uh, because houses are going for 10, 15% over what they're actually listed for, as crazy as that sounds, um, we are actually at a 102%, 102% um, of offers of what they're getting accepted at. Last year, we were at 99.3, so we were just under 100% of list price for what they were going under contract for, and they're currently at 102%. So uh, that would be a $500,000 home, 2% above that, that would mean that houses are listing at 500 and they are going for about 510. Now, I know those numbers sound a little off from what you're hearing, but uh, again, uh, those are the numbers. We're up 2.8% over last year of what houses are actually going for. Um, here's the thing to keep in mind. Here's some of my takeaways. Um, the market is insanity right now. I've talked a lot about this. I've been watching a lot of agents' information, a lot of people saying the market is not dropping, uh, the market is going to continue. I hear others say it's a bubble, it's all gonna pop. Uh, you guys have seen my stuff. If you don't uh, know what I'm talking about here, if you don't know what I'm describing here, I would encourage you to go back to previous uh, Tips Tuesdays and market updates and get more information on 
on that, but I describe this as not the regular market right now. This is insanity buying. This is just emotional agents that probably aren't as educated. I think this is emotional buyers get it feeling desperate, like they're never going to get in a home. And so a lot of what we're seeing now, I believe, is just emotional bidding. Um, and so we're just seeing massive, massive overbidding right now. And we've been in that for three, four months. Uh, it's been crazy. But uh, here's the deal. Here's the couple things to keep in mind <clears throat> that's very interesting. The masses amounts of overbidding is falling within a very unique uh, price range. Uh, you would think it would be on the very low end first time home buyer stuff and it's actually not. Now those are getting overbid, but the massive, massive 100,000 overbid, 80,000 overbid, that is in about a mid 500,000 to seven, mid sevens. So you get about a $200,000 price range right in the middle that is getting massive, massive overbids right now. If you're on the low end, you're getting over list, but um, not as much. And if you're on the very high end, you're not getting uh, those massive overbids as well. So it's kind of interesting that we see that. Second thing that I think is so interesting, people are asking me all the time, why do I need to fix up? my home right now when it's going to sell for crazy amounts anyway. And you're absolutely correct. I've done videos on that. But what we're seeing is the major, major amounts of overbid are on the remodeled homes, the ones that have been really taken care of that are like something that you just can't find on average on the market. When you have one of those pristine homes, everybody wants it and those prices are just skyrocketing up. So um, if you have just an average home on the market, <clears throat> you list it, yeah, you may make 10,000, 15, 20,000 over asking maybe 30,000, but if you want 80, 90, 100,000 over asking, uh, that's where you put in the 20 grand, 30 grand to fix it up, and you actually make whatever those numbers are, an extra 40, 50, 60,000 on your money. So that's where those overbids are coming. A Couple other things that I think are interesting just to note is what's going on right now is national. This just is not Denver. Um, the Denver market is increasing over most of the nation. Uh, we are growing at a faster pace, um, faster than most of the nation, but nationwide, I'm hearing this across the board. We have buyers in Arizona, we have buyers in Texas, we have buyers in um, Wyoming, all across the board massive amounts of overbid, lack of inventory, and I think COVID has just caused a lot of that, the low interest rates, everybody is coming out of the woodworks to buy. So we just have all these major storms hitting at one time, causing this kind of uh, phenomenon right now in, uh, in the United States. And so I, I don't expect that to last forever. I've been talking about this. Some agents would disagree with me, <clears throat> I just do not believe that our prices have gone up 100,000 in the last year and that they're gonna continue that way every year. Yes, our market is awesome. Yes, it will continue to be awesome. It will not pop, it's not gonna go away. But I believe interest rates are on the rise. If you don't know, rates are coming up and they are coming up pretty quickly. As rates come up, Inventory levels normally increase right around March, April, May. And as inventory comes up, if it does like it has every year, except for maybe last year with COVID, every year it's always gone up right about this time. So if we assume that inventory rises, uh, we'll have more homes on the market. As rates are climbing, which will get rid of buyers, that will level out this supply and demand issue so we won't have the crazy overbids. So a couple takeaways, if you are a buyer, be patient. I wouldn't be desperate. Don't jump in at 90,000 overbid and put bring all the cash to cover the appraisal waiver just because you're nervous that you'll never get a house. Um, I would just say be patient. Um, if, if the other people out there that are doing all this craziness, if they're uh, right, 
and I'm wrong, it, it may cost you a little bit of money to wait three, four, five months, but if it's reversed <clears throat> and I'm right, and they're wrong, it could cost you $100,000. So I would err right now if I was a buyer on the side of being patient, <clears throat> excuse me. If you are a seller right now, I would encourage you sell and sell now. I don't know how to encourage people anymore. Um, you could literally lose $80,000 in a month. As soon as this overbidding stops, uh, you've lost all that money. So if you are a seller and looking to sell, sell now. Um, so buyers be patient, sellers, move now. And if you're an investor, um, I think it's still good. Rates are still going to stay low. They are climbing, but they're going to stay low. And uh, there's still some deals out there if you're looking, but just don't get desperate. Be patient again as a buyer, as an investor, and wait for the right home. So I hope that helps. Um, my, my takeaway for all of this, if I can just say, is be cautious, be slow, and uh, just don't feel like you're rushed and have to rush in to a house. I hope that helps. I hope that's good information and uh, only time will tell. I don't have a crystal ball. I know you don't. We have lots of opinions out there, but let's see how this progresses and we'll see what the numbers look like next month in, uh, what are we, March in April. So God bless you. Hope that helps. We'll see you next month.